KPM. Hello, Assalamualaikum everybody. Good morning. How you, how are you guys feeling today? I hope you guys are feeling great and ready for today's lesson. My name is Nisake and I'll be your host for today. And if you listen to me speaking English, yes, we are going to learn English with an interesting topics. But before that, I would like to remind you guys to always comply to the SOP set by the government by wearing face masks in the public area, maintaining physical distance of at least one meter or more, and always wash your hands using water and soap. Use hand sanitizer when needed and bring the small size in your pocket so it's easier for you to use it. Okay, so today we have something on the table, but I wonder what are we going to learn Today, let's invite our teacher. But before that, we will show you his profile. Let's welcome Mr. Hanin from SMK Unku Aziz Sabak Bernam Selangor. How are you, Mr. Hanin? Hi. Hello. I'm fine, thank you very much. Are you feeling nervous? Yes, a little bit. No, only. no need to be nervous. <laughs> I'm here to help you and definitely I will have some of my friends to be with us today. But before that, uh, if you would like to take off your mask when needed, Okay, okay. So we're going to don't forget to keep your mask properly in a special case. Uh, like uh, Mr. Hanin, he has this uh, zipper pocket. I have this plastic case with me. Yes. So keep your mask safe and clean. And if, if you have to change it to, the new, to a new piece, don't forget to throw it properly in the dustbin. Do not uh, throw everywhere because we want to keep our surrounding clean while maintaining a safety to ourselves because COVID-19 is still out there. Yes. We're not still like winning. So be careful everybody and stay safe. As I mentioned just now, we are learning English. But before we go to the topic today, I would like to invite my friends also from SMK Unku Ali Sabak Bernam to be with us today. Hello everybody. Good morning. Hi. How, how are you guys doing? Great. Good? Are you guys okay? Are you guys okay? Okay, if you guys okay, if you guys feeling great, if you guys are ready, give me double thumbs up. Okay, I would like to introduce, uh, to, to, to invite our friend to introduce himself. I will start with Aida. Kindly introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Aida from SMK Ungu Aziz. Thank you, Aida. Next, we have Nurdiana. Nudiana, hello. Oh. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Hi, my name is Nudiana from SMK Unku Aziz. Thank you, Diana. Hi. Next, I would like to uh, invite Adrian to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Adrian. I'm from SMK Unku Aziz. Thank you, Adrian. Next, we have Yin Juan. Hi, I'm Inshan from SMK Unku Aziz. Thank you, Nur Faiza. Where are you? <laughs> I'm here. Hi, I'm Faiza from SMK Unku Aziz. Okay, and last but not least, our friend Afi. Hi, I'm Afi from SMK Unku Aziz. Okay, thank you for being with us today. Everybody is so ready and they are all, I think, in, in good shape, I believe. Okay, uh, Mr. Hanin, what are we going to learn today? Okay, so uh, today what we are going to learn about mm -hmm. is language awareness. Language awareness. Yes. Okay. What is the importance to learn this? Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, as you know, that it is a part and parcel of uh, the new curriculum which is aligned to the CFR, mm -hmm. but we are going to focus on the certain topic inside this language awareness, okay? okay? That we are going to look into later. Yes, I cannot wait about what we're going to learn today. And before we proceed, we have a special video. Let's watch together. Mm 
as you know, English is a universal language that we commonly use to communicate with other people around the world. And as for me, English is important because it is one of the qualifications for me to continue my study in what I'm interested in. And lastly, I really hope that I will get a straight A's, uh, especially in English subject, and make my parents proud of me. We should learn grammar because when we learn grammar, we are being confident when we face some some foreigner or whenever we are at overseas, we could talk with the local if we want to ask direction or order some foods. So uh, we can talk confidently for uh, to ask them. We need to learn English grammar to help us reach our goals to communicate with people and it helps us to become a better communicator. In addition, we can think of grammar as the way people form sentences in real life. Last but not least, it can also help us to express ourselves better because we are more comfortable with how people express various ideas. <coughs> Thank you, our friends, for the video sent to us. Okay, uh, Mr. Hanin, yes. I actually I have a very important question. Oh, what is uh, that? This is regarding <laughs> life and death. Oh, 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 okay, uh, okay. So that must many, be serious. Yeah, yeah. It, it is very serious. Many people, many students especially, they, they feel like it is very hard to learn English. It is very hard to actually converse in English. Yeah. What is that? Uh, yes, uh, I think... Um, uh, people always think that English is uh, super difficult, mm -hmm. but the thing is right now is about the attitude that you have towards the language, mm -hmm. you know? I mean like for me, uh, growing up also, uh, I mean like English, sorry, mm -hmm. English is not my first language, yes. you know? I mean like growing up, we use Malay all the time, yes. but you must have the confidence and also you need to keep on trying mm -hmm. your best to mm -hmm. actually learn the language and you have a very positive attitude towards the language that you change your mindset. Yes, change your mindset, have a positive attitude. My yes. English is not that good too, but I am confident here to speak on live TV yes. in English because it's a part of a learning process for me, I believe. So, uh, everybody is ready and I believe our friends at home, you guys are all ready. Don't forget to prepare your pen or pencil with your notebook so we can take notes on today's lesson. We are going to take a break before we proceed with our lesson. I'll see you guys after this. Don't go anywhere. KPM DD TV KPM Watching Teras at Didik TV KPM. Okay, so, Mr. Hanin, you are ready? Yes. You are so ready. <laughs> our friends are so ready. Let's proceed with our lesson. Okay, thank you very much, Nisa. Mm -hmm. So, hi everybody. So, welcome back. Now, today we are going to look at one aspect of uh, the English language for Form 5, which is language awareness. And we are focusing only on Unit 3 grammar, mm -hmm. which is on present perfect simple, present perfect continuous. And these are actually based mm. on okay. the textbook. textbook. Okay. So is this the same textbook? No. Yes, the same textbook. Yes. Yeah. So uh, if you're at home, then you can uh, see your own textbook and on page 35 actually. Page 35, our friends, they are already... Uh, before that, double thumbs up if you are ready. Okay, let's go Mr. Hanin. Okay, so for uh, our learning objective for today is actually to state at least an opinion about their own achievement. I mean, mm. like the students later on, I will ask them. And also uh, for them to compete at least one uh, of the 12 banks with the correct form of the verbs, okay? Mm -hmm. So now, so I'm going to ask the student at home. Okay. What is your most proud achievement? Most proud achievement, okay. Okay, uh, we will give uh, them actually 15 seconds to yes, think. 15 seconds uh -huh. and I would like to share mine. 
Yes, can, can sure, I? sure, sure. Okay. Uh, my proudest achievement is being here on DD TV wow. with all of you guys, <laughs> with all the crews. They are all great teams to work with. Yes. Thank you. I hope I, uh, I make my, my parents proud. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Nisa, so can friends? we have uh, one of the students yes, to answer? Uh, can we have Aida? Aida, share your proudest achievement. Hi, Aida. Uh, Aida, kindly unmute your microphone. Okay. Okay. I believe we have to restart the Google Meet before they answer. There oh, might okay. be some connection, connection problem there. But problem. before it's okay, you can ask me. But yeah, I, shared, yeah, yeah. I shared mine already. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes. Uh, for me, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll yes. tell a little bit about my most proud uh, Achievement. achievement is when I decided to become a teacher. Uh, that is the reason for me mm -hmm. uh, that making me realize that I want to uh, impart knowledge to all other uh, people. And mm -hmm. for me, being a school teacher is like one of the best decision ever. Okay, <laughs> and I have a lot of friends who are teachers too. Thank you. Okay, okay so let's proceed. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think it's better for us to yes. proceed on the content of our discussion today, mm -hmm. which is on the present perfect simple, mm -hmm. actually. So this is part of the curriculum inside the textbook, okay? Okay. Anissa. So actually, uh, we look at the form first. Okay. Okay. Uh, present perfect simple consists of um, has, mm -hmm. if it's singular, mm -hmm. and caught which has been underlined, mm -hmm. and also plural, we use have, and also uh, bought, which has uh, underlined. Mm -hmm. uh, Nisa, can you guess what is the form mm -hmm. of that verb actually? Caught uh, and bought. Caught is from the word catch. Yes. Bought from the word buy. Yes, Am that's right? good, very okay. good. However, mm -hmm. that's correct, Nisa. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we call it a very specific way. Okay. You know, in English, you call it as pass participle. Pass participle. Yes. Okay. okay. Now, uh, before we go on to uh, the function of mm -hmm. uh, present perfect simple, we are going to look at some of the verbs that I have here. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you okay. can see on your screen, uh, I already uh, listed six words there. Okay. Drive drink, draw, fly, piece. And if you can see on the table, those oh, are the words. Okay. Uh -huh. I'll help you with this. No yes. worries. Uh, okay. So, we know for sure that mm. student will know the form when it changed from root word to past tense, which mm -hmm. is uh, the kind of uh, things that they learned uh, during the uh, primary school as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean like this form. So, uh, drive will turn into drove. Yes. Drink will turn into drank. Draw into drew. Catch, caught, fly, flew, piece, and into paste, paste it. it. Okay. However, the difficult one would be how or what is the word they are going to change when it needs to become past, past participle. participle. Okay. okay. So I let's go try together. to the front. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, go. So I'll, right. I'll be coming here. So we have the first word over here is drink. Drink. Okay. okay. Is drink. Uh, so I have the answer down here. Yeah, mm -hmm. actually I want to ask the student to actually ah. guess. It's okay. But it's Our okay. students will uh, uh, come back to class be, shortly. Shortly. Okay. So let's. What is the past tense again? Uh, past tense is drank. Oh, the past tense is drank. Yes. However, drink. Mm -hmm. Past tense is drank. drank. When it turns to past participle, it become drunk. Drunk. Oh. But doesn't it mean? in huh. other definition. Yes, yes. Uh, that's why we need to remember as well okay. that certain word can give different meaning, you know? Okay. Because it has a multiple meaning as mm -hmm. well, you know? I mean, like, let's go to the other words, right? Okay. Let's go to the other word. So we are done with this one. All right. So I'll put it aside. Okay. I would like to try with this one. Okay. I? Don't turn it yet. So okay. the answer is down okay. there, okay? Okay, like this. <laughs> so we know for a fact that is the word draw, draw. right? So the past tense is drew. drew. Mm -hmm. uh, how about the past participle, Nisa? Um, drawn? Let's see the answer. Did, 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 did. Yay! Yay! That's good of you. Yay! Oh, I'm so proud. Yes. <laughs> okay. uh, so oh. you must have like certain knowledge mm -hmm. uh, to know uh, what is the form mm -hmm. of the past participle. Past so participle. Uh, they need to know 
so uh, later on, I will discuss about mm -hmm. what is the common uh, mistake or error that mm -hmm. uh, the student will uh, do. So mm -hmm. let's continue let's with continue. the next okay. one, right? All right. Okay, let's see. Okay. Paste. Paste. What is the past tense form? Pasted. Pasted. Mm -hmm. And the For past participle. For this one, participle, I'm not very sure, Mr. Right? Yeah. So let's see the answer. The answer is pasted as well. Oh, okay. See? It doesn't change. It doesn't change. So that's why we need to have like certain knowledge mm -hmm. about this form of past participle. Mm -hmm. Not all are going to be the same, and uh, some uh, some words stay the same. Some mm -hmm. words change. Okay. Okay, that's that. Okay. So I'll try this one. Okay, let's okay. go. Taking this one. <laughs> Catch. Catch. Uh, okay, that is the word. Yes. So the past tense form is. As I mentioned just now, the past tense is caught. And How about the past participle? Wait, <laughs> I believe this one also. The past participle doesn't change. But let's see. Let's, let's see, see the answer. Caught. Yay. Yay! That's correct. So okay. that is good of Unisa. So right. how do you know it? It's just the knowledge that you have. Yes. You know, huh? Mm -hmm. This okay, is let's something go. Something that we always read in the books. So yeah, okay. that's good. Reading also helps. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go to uh, the next, next one, mm -hmm. which is drive. Okay. And the past tense form is drove. drove. Mm -hmm. And let's see what is the answer for, for drive. Yeah, the past participle. Okay, I'll give you like uh, maybe the guys at home to mm -hmm. think about like five yes. seconds. If you got it correct, then good on you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so the answer would be driven. Oh, yeah, hey. see, that's good of you. Uh, Nisa, why don't okay. you try the so last you one? Pass me. It's okay, okay I'll, sure, sure, sure. I'll be using this sanitizer. Yeah, that's good because we are still uh, need to abide yeah, by the, the SOP. Yes. yes. Okay. The last so, would be. This is fly. Uh -huh. The past tense that is, is flu. Flu. Um, wait, the past participle should be, or I believe, it is flown. Let's see the answers. One, two, three. Yay! Yay! Right. Yeah. I got so many points. Yeah. Okay. So you can be a very good student at school, Nisa. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, shall we continue yes, with the next proceed. one? Yeah, let's okay. proceed. So uh, these are the reason why we need to use uh, mm. present perfect simple. You know, uh, because present perfect simple and present perfect continuous are considered as advanced mm -hmm. uh, type of grammar. So we want to verify the use uh, when we are using the language in writing or maybe uh, in our conversation, right? Mm -hmm. When we have a conversation just now and yes. also with our friends. And this is going to be a very good uh, plus point, okay? Mm -hmm. So, uh, the first uh, function sometimes is uh, something that started in the past and has continued until now. Okay. So uh, the sample uh, sentence there, he has coached wrestling for eight years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the second one would be something that happened in the past, but we don't know or we don't say exactly when. So mm -hmm. we, if you're not sure, but this already happened, you can use this form. Okay. The team has bought new uniform. Mm -hmm. There's no time mentioned, but we know for a fact mm -hmm. that the team has already buying something okay? okay something that happened the third one something that happened in the past but has a result or an effect in the present which is the last sentence mm -hmm. steven has broken his leg so something already happened to steven yes so he isn't playing in the match this, this week. week so the consequences in the present okay ah. No, I understand yeah All let's right. go to the next one okay okay we can also use this when you say an action that has just finished or happened We've mm. just caught a goal. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you just uh, had your breakfast. So uh, you yes. can say, I've just had my breakfast. Okay. okay. And last one is experience and achievement. So uh, just like uh, what you mentioned about oh. your achievement just yes. now, we, you can sh uh, use uh, this sentence as well. Mm -hmm. Our cricket club has won lots of prizes recently. recently. Mr. Hanin, our yes. friends are here again. Thank you so much for coming Hi. back to class. A little bit late, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll forgive you guys. Uh, <laughs> we have some unforeseen circumstances. Yes. So we will proceed. Let's be sunny. Okay, let's uh, go on to the next one. Okay. Okay, this mm -hmm. is what uh, we want to uh, understand about okay. language awareness, you know? Okay. Uh, the common mistake. 
the first thing that I notice uh, mm -hmm. among my students, I cannot say about uh, any other teachers around uh, Malaysia, but it, this is what is happening in uh, the years of uh, my teaching, mm -hmm. that uh, it goes back to the lack of vocabulary. Yes. You know, uh, that's why it also hinders the student because they also feel afraid, they mm -hmm. feel they, they are not prepared. So, um, lack of vocabulary in terms of the verb itself, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the verb that we just show, yes. not maybe some students might have difficulties to mm -hmm. actually know this word. And also the verb form itself. I mean, like the verb changes just yes. now, right? Mm -hmm. We know for a fact that it can change into a past tense mm -hmm. and also past participle. Mm -hmm. Mr. Anin, yes. when it comes to lack of vocabulary, it makes the students somehow feels wrong mm -hmm. when they are trying to say something but they keep using the same words or the same verbs they feel oh it's it's not right yeah uh, so it's it's kind of make them feel no i'm not going to use english, english. I'm, not, I'm not confident enough yes. to use english uh yeah nisa that mm -hmm. is good i uh point to but you know as uh, what i have in my uh, okay. on the table we have dictionaries you know mm -hmm. we have lots of dictionaries yes. over here mm -hmm. that can be used as reference and if they are not sure they mm -hmm. can always ask the teachers at school yes, don't always. be afraid to ask your teachers okay yeah the teachers uh, are always ready to help you guys yes okay so now we are going to continue okay uh, okay with present present perfect, perfect. Continuous. continuous. Just now is present perfect, perfect simple. simple. Okay. okay. So present perfect continuous. Also, I also mm -hmm. now uh, mention the form first. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you guys. So just now is has plus past participle, right? Mm -hmm. But for present perfect continuous, see the form okay. is a little di different, right? Anissa? Yes. We have has plus been. 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 Now the ing form mm -hmm. we call is as continuous. continuous. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. For plural, we just change has into have. Have been. Have, have been, been jogging. jogging. Okay. So, Anissa, okay. can yes. I ask you a question then? Yes. Okay, Definitely. now. I'm so ready. I always uh, ask this question to uh, my student. Okay. How about you and I? Oh. Which it falls into? Plural. You plural. have been jogging. I have been jogging. Is that yes. right? Yes. Yeah, even though you, we consider as one person, right? Okay. And I is also considered as one person. Mm -hmm. But in English, I just want to let everybody know, mm -hmm. this is why I keep on telling my students. Yeah, this is a special yeah. tip. Don't forget to, to write it down. I always make it a, a, a little bit sound cheesy. Mm -hmm. You and I are special. <laughs> wow, you and I are special. Uh, we are referring to the word you and I only, uh, not you as a person or mm. I as a person. We are referring mm. the word itself, you and I. Mm. So, that's, so that's why it use the plural mm -hmm. form, okay? Ah, so mm. that's a tip to remember you yes. and I, the viewers, are special. Special. So we are using the plural. <laughs> the plural okay, form, okay. okay. Mr. Honey, we are going to proceed uh, later on because our friends here need to catch up a bit about yes. what we have learned just now which is we are we we learn about present perfect simple about the past participle yes. and about the words that change and some of the words do not change, change you know? yes. so i'll be with you guys after this don't go anywhere i'll see you guys after this on teras direct tv kpm KPM Dede TV KPM You guys are still watching Teras at Didi TV KPM. Still with me, Nisa, Ms. Suhani, and also our friends from SMK Unko Aziz Sabak Bernam. Okay, uh, just now, Ms. Suhani mentioned about how to remember about you and I mm -hmm. on using this present perfect continuous yes. where you and I are special. Okay, Ms. Suhani, <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Are you from Seoul, Korea? Uh, no, no, no. No. Oh, that's Why? weird. 
because you look like a soulmate. <laughs> wow. <laughs> thank no, you, thank kidding. you. Okay. This is a cheesy pickup line that uh-huh. I remembered from the internet. Okay, okay, let's proceed with our lesson. Okay. So now, uh, just now I already we already know about this form. Mm-hmm. So we are going to uh, know the function. Okay? okay. So the first function would be for action that started in the past. Mm-hmm and are still in progress now or have happened time and time again until now, mm-hmm. okay? Uh, for example, in the sentence, we have been teaching basketball for years, so the idea that they are still doing it and now are still continuing, okay? And the second sentence would be, he has been having tennis lessons since he was five. Instead of like just using uh, past tense, mm-hmm. you can use this present perfect continuous mm-hmm. now. And then for the second one, for continuous action that happened in the past and have finished recently, but have a result or an effect in the present. So she is tired because she has been jogging. jogging. And also, uh, this is something that I like. <laughs> he looks slimmer because he has been exercising. exercising. And okay. the last one is to emphasize how long action have been in progress. So the samples that you have been practicing for the badminton game for weeks. weeks. So you have an idea about how long uh, he uh, has already gone for mm-hmm. practicing the badminton, okay? Okay. Now, this is uh, a little bit of different mm-hmm. between this present perfect simple and also uh, present perfect continuous. continuous, right? So we use the present perfect simple to focus on the result, mm-hmm. yeah? or uh, of a completed action, or how many times something has happened. However, we use the present perfect continuous to focus on the action itself, or how long something has been happening. Mm -hmm. It is unimportant whether the action has finished or not. Okay, Uh so there are some keywords to Yes, to to, to differentiate. Yes, to differentiate. Yeah, these two, yeah. So if you see uh, the samples there, Mm -hmm. you can really understand. Kara has placed squash once, so it focuses on Mm -hmm. Uh, we know for a fact that she has tried. Mm-hmm. Okay, she has tried, sorry. Uh, she has tried. And Kevin, the second sentence, Kevin has been practicing skateboarding all week- weekend. So we mm-hmm. focus on the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the first one, we could focus more on the action that uh, Kara has already done. Okay. okay. Now, let's ask the, the students. students. Uh, okay. It's time for us to ask them whether yeah. they have been paying attention Chain or not. Or not. Okay, so, so the let us uh, read the question for them first. Okay. Read the sentences. Which tense do they both use? Okay. So it's either present perfect simple or present perfect continuous. continuous. Uh-huh. In which sentence has the person not written yet? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so a little bit clue there. So the first sentence, Mona has been to an ice hockey game in Canada. Okay. B, Mona has gone to an ice hockey game in, in Canada. Canada. So... Are we going five, to choose? Yes, you are, we are going to choose. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, Nisa, you can choose anybody. Okay. Uh, I'll let you. Who is going to, to answer this one where you have to determine which sentence has the person not written yet. That's nah, the keyword, not, not written, written yet. yet. But yet. first, they need to identify which tense which it belongs to. Which tense down. first, ah, okay. okay. So, I would like to have our friend Adrian. Can you answer this for me? The answer is B. B. Ah, ah. Okay. The person has not written yet. Okay, so how B. about the mm. tense, Adrian? Is it mm. using present perfect simple or present perfect continuous? continuous. You see the underlined uh, verb there. Is it present perfect or present perf- uh, present perfect simple or present perfect continuous? continuous. Present perfect. Simple or simple. Continu- simple. Simple. Okay. okay. Is that uh, correct, Musani? Yeah, that is uh, the right answer. Yes. Uh, thank you okay. very much, Adrian. How about Afik? Uh, Can we ask, we ask Afik? Yes, Afik. Do you agree with Adrian? Mm-hmm. Or do you have? Different answer, just in case. Afi? Yes, I agree with Adrian. You mm-hmm. agree with Adrian. So, what is the tense just now? What? What is the tense just now? Is mm-hmm. it present perfect simple or present perfect, perfect continuous? continuous? Present perfect simple, sir. Mm-hmm. Present perfect simple. Good job. Congratulations. Congrats. So, they have been paying attention, okay? Yes. <laughs> 
All right. Okay, that's good. So, uh, if you read the sentence again, Mona has been to mm -hmm. an ice hockey game in Canada. Mm -hmm. We know for sure that the idea mm -hmm. that Mona has been there and she, are, she has already gone back. Mm -hmm. However, for um, sentence B, Mona has gone to mm -hmm. an ice hockey game in Canada. We are not sure whether Mona has already come back from mm -hmm. the ice hockey game or not because the keyword has gone, meaning just go. Yes. Never come back. Okay. Uh, but for has been, the idea that you already there, you already experienced, and you already returned from mm -hmm. going to the hockey game. So, mm -hmm. for example, Nisa, yes. have you been to anywhere else besides Malaysia? Um, I've been to Barcelona. Barcelona! <laughs> wow, that's good. Cool. So, Great country. Yes. Yeah, so, the best idea is mm -hmm. to say that I have I been... Have been to, to Barcelona. Barcelona. So four the times. idea, four mm -hmm. times already, yeah. that's good. Good experience for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so okay. we are going to focus on yes. this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, this is the practice for mm -hmm. the kids. Okay. Uh, it's quite long, so mm -hmm. we are going to give uh, a little bit more time to them to complete uh, this work, okay? Okay, all right. So we are giving the students here some time to complete uh, this paragraph mm -hmm. with uh, what we have learned today which is uh, present perfect simple and also present perfect continuous so you guys at home you can try this too I'll see you guys after this don't go anywhere I'll see you guys on Teras Didik TV KBM KPM Didik TV KPM Watching Teras at Didik TV KPM. I believe we have uh, we we give them ample times to, yep. to do the the, the <laughs> exercise. So let's see their answers. Okay, okay. thank you, Nisa. So uh, guys, you're back with me. So we are going to discuss the answers. Uh, don't forget those who are at, at home. You can mm. always refer to the textbook that you have with you at home okay. on page thirty-five. Thirty-five. Yeah? Yes. Right. If you already discuss it with your teacher, then consider it as uh, uh, something that you can uh, remember, yeah, mm -hmm. or practice later on. Okay. So let's see uh, the answer for number one. Let's choose uh, Diana. Diana, what is the first answer? Can you share with the uh, everybody? The first blank space. The first blank space. The answer is have been playing. Have okay. Been playing. While okay. people. Let's see the answer, yeah? Okay. Yes. Yay, you got it right. Correct. While well, people have been playing, games. so play, we change into have been playing. Have been playing. Games. And, and let's uh, take a look at the next person. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Aida. 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 What Can is you share the second number? answer? Yeah. The verb there is do. Do. Mm -hmm. The answer is have been doing. Have been doing. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh, yes, so that is also correct. Correct. Okay. So if you can see uh, mm. on the answers there, I put slash there, doing. Mm. So it can be either have been doing or oh, doing. Doing only, okay. Because there is a conjunction there. Uh, and. and. Uh, okay. So you can shorten it a bit, okay? okay. So now uh, let's read sport, practically since the beginning of time. The rules which participants have had to follow. Number three, the verb is change. change. Let have Faiza. Faiza, what is your answer for number three? The answer for number three is have changed. Have changed. Okay, let's see okay. the answers. Yes, yes. have changed. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
have had to follow have changed over the this century. Century. So the rules have changed over the mm. centuries. Let's go on to the next one. Expert, historian, and archaeologist. So this are plural form mm -hmm. is already a clue for you. If plural, what we need to use. Mm -hmm. Okay, can we choose uh, who's next? Who hasn't? Can we have Yinjuan? Yinjuan, your answer? The answer for number, for number four, four, which is the verb discover. Have discovered. Okay, have let's discovered. see the answer. Yes, yes, have discovered. You are correct. Yes. Okay. So, uh, students at home, please remember there's always clue inside the text. Mm -hmm. Like in the text already said, experts, historians, historians. archaeologists. So, it's, it's already plural. clear. It's plural. Yes. So, we need to use the plural form. That's plural why form. it's important for us to know that. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. let's go on to number five. That sports. Okay, the word is B. Okay. Uh huh. Why is it B? So we need to know that B mm -hmm. is verb to be. Okay. Okay, but B can be also in the different form. So okay. let's see who's the. Who wants to answer? Who next? wants to answer the next one? Let's see, uh, Afik. Afik, what is your answer for the blank space number five? Has been. Has been. Has been. Has been? See, okay. the spot there is already singular. singular. Just one, okay. right? So the answer is. Has been. been. Congratulations. Yay. Good job to you, Afi. And okay. uh, let's go on to uh, number six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need to go through quite a lot because there are 12 bank spaces. Okay. Never mind, right? So we just go on. Uh, okay. Has been a useful way for people to learn how to deal with nature and the environment better. Day number six, can we have oh. Adrian? Mm -hmm. Adrian, what is the answer for number six? Have also seen. Have also seen. Have also seen. Yes, mm. like Anissa already uh, told everybody, right? Mm. We need to uh, be aware of uh, the pronoun. Yes. Uh, so this is plural, plural. right? Mm -hmm. They. They. So the the answer is have, have also, also seen. seen. Very good. So only the C word uh, change. change because okay. we use what just now Anissa? We pass, use pass. Participle. participle. Very okay. good. Past so, C okay. is the root word. Mm -hmm. When it turns to past then, it becomes so, so, but past participle yes. is seen. seen. Okay. okay. That's right. why. Okay. Now, let's go on to number seven because already rotate. So, we go on to back to Aida. Okay. Aida, can you share the answer for number seven, please? Number seven. The answer is have developed. Ah, oh, okay. Societies, there's the clue there, yes. is plural. plural. So, have, have developed. 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 Okay. okay, Aida, thank you very much for thank that correct you. answer. You so, uh, okay. okay, the last page, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, so, don't worry. I have it on screen. And if you have the book at home, you can also refer it at home. Okay. Now, we go on to uh, eight. So, Aida, done. Let's go back to Diana, please. Okay, Diana. Diana, the first uh, question for the second paragraph. Mm. Number eight. The answer is have been studying. Have okay, been has studying. Have Let's been see. studying. Let's see the answer. Yes, yes. Uh, have, have been, been studying. studying. So, which means we know for a fact that archaeologists has continued. Continuous. Ah, mm. It's a continuous uh, effort by mm. the archaeologists. Cave painting for years now and day. Let's go on to number nine, which number is the nine. word find. Find. Uh -huh. We know for sure if it's a present perfect simple, we need to change into past participle. Past participle. If not, I know it becomes yeah. ing, yeah? the yeah. continuous form. Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Never mind, I already showed the answers. So actually, they have found. found. So find, the past tense is found, found. but past participle also the, the same. Yes. Okay. Now, is this some of the words that did not change during uh -huh. the past participle? Yes, yes. Okay. That's why it's important for us to know the list. Mm -hmm. You can have uh, the list. It's on the internet, you know, if yes. you have a, a book, then you can also refer it uh, to know what is the form of mm -hmm. uh, present, uh, no, sorry, past participle and also the past tense. Okay? okay. Now, let's go to number 10. Number 10. I read, in France, the painting show people participating in wrestling and running about 17,300 uh, years ago and in Libya in the cave of swimmer evidence. Okay, number 10. Can we have someone to answer number 10? Number Who 10. Who hasn't? Uh, can we have Adrian, please? 
We're Adrian. We're going to use past participle, right? Mm -hmm. It's either past participle the answer, or continuous. The answer is have shown. Have shown. Have shown. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, but it's singular. Yeah, mm -hmm. has shown. Yeah. So, show is the root word. Mm -hmm. Past tense is should. Should. Past, past participle, participle is, is shown. shown. Okay, that's good. Now, let's go on to uh, 11. Mm -hmm. Sorry, the answer is haven't, haven't answered. answered. Mm -hmm. So, see, some mm -hmm. verb has the same form past tense and past mm -hmm. participle. You don't need to worry about that mm -hmm. because the list are already there. We need to know how mm -hmm. it changed, okay? Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. If you don't know, not sure, you can always ask, ask your teacher, teacher at school to explain to you and help you to understand more about this, okay? okay. And my kids can always ask me later All on right. at school, okay? Now, let's go on to number 12, the last one mm -hmm. for this part, whereby... Uh, all the question about why people play games and do sport yet day, okay, the verb is proof. proof okay? okay, so can we have uh, who else? Uh? Yin Juan. Oh. Yin Juan, the answer for number two. The last one. Yeah, the last one. Um, the answer is have proof. Have proof. Proof, okay. Mm. Day. Have, have proof. proof. Okay. Mm. Uh, oh, but we, we, we are not going to use proven. Okay, no. that's good, Nisa. Mm. A very good question. Uh, proven in some cases are accepted, uh, okay. but for here, it's up to the place we stay, you okay. know. Uh, actually, I already checked it mm -hmm. twice and maybe thrice a few times to know the form, mm. and the answer is actually proof. Proven okay. is uh, less used. In a uh, developed country like uh, the UK, the mm. US, I mean, like we need to follow uh, the guide by mm. them as well because we are under CFR and uh, most probably we need to uh, follow what they have been using all this while. Actually, the word is mm. proof and oh. not proven. proven. Okay. okay, I hope that clears some. Uh, Confusion. Yeah, uh, some about, confusion. About yes, actually, because uh, mm. yes, people will always like try. Why not proven? Yes. Ah. Uh, we, we always saw the ans uh, that uh, words, but it's not uh, correct. Correct. Okay. Uh. Now we have discussed the answers, and I can see that our friends over here, they are all, they all understand on what we learned today, which is present perfect simple, the past participle, and present perfect continuous. Maybe Ms. Hanin can conclude uh, for today's lesson. Okay. So okay. the summary mm -hmm. yeah, for our lesson today is we are already looking at the form and function of present perfect simple and also present perfect continuous. When mm -hmm. we know the form, when we know the grammar, mm -hmm. then we can use it. That's why mm -hmm. we will become less threatened by mm -hmm. uh, when we want to use, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, the most important thing is keep on trying, keep on trying your best. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And also I already mentioned about the common mistake because yes. of the lack of vocabulary, vocabulary that we have. Mm -hmm. That is something that we need to change, yes? Mm -hmm. We need to help ourselves first, you know, before the teachers try to help you. Mm -hmm. Why not you try to use the dictionary that yes. you have at the school library? Mm -hmm. But the thing is, because of this pandemic, you know, you can always uh, use the internet to search for more information. Yes. And mm -hmm. also, Actually, today, we learn to expand the use of English in our daily, daily life. life. Always practice uh, using English in your daily life. Simple words, you can always... I always read kids' storybooks. Yes. Uh, I start with simple sentences, simple words. As long as you are confident enough to practice, no problem. Yeah. Uh, okay, maybe you have some last words and maybe Raya greetings for okay. everybody who's watching. Okay. Okay. Uh, hi, everybody. So, uh, thank you very much for all the support uh, and the chance that I have. So, uh, thank you very much to everybody. And my Hari Raya greeting would be, uh, yes, stay safe, uh, follow the SOP, uh, and uh, I would like to say that, yes, we can have our Raya, mm -hmm. but we need to be very, very careful. Okay. Yes. Good luck, thank guys. Thank you, Mr. Hanin. And I would like to thank my friends over here from SMK, Unko Aziz, Sabah Burnam. You guys did great. Give me double thumbs up once again. Double thumbs up. 
Yay! Alright! So, I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode of Teras. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 8am and 9am. My name is Mr. K and thank you so much everybody. Goodbye! Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Amira Husna, binti Muhammad Razali and I'm going to share a little bit about the ways to improve your English language. It is my view that we can always learn English the easiest through entertainment. For example, when we are listening to our favorite English songs, we can sing along to the lyrics and improve our pronunciation. Next, when we are watching English movies, we can always acquire new vocabulary through the new words learned. Not to forget, practice, practice, and practice and be confident of yourself because when you're feeling confident, it shows. And you surely are going to deliver your language better and people will understand you more. Last but not least, try to have fun with English language because English is a fun language and you surely know that. Hi there! Hi! Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day. Well, today I would like to share with you two tips on how to improve our English. Well, the first one is by reading. What you can do is you open the children's book and read. Why children's book? Because they are quite easy and it is useful for you to understand the text. Okay, number two is by practicing. Okay, what you can do is to stand in front of the mirror and then you can speak out loud. You can see your smile, your expression, and also your gestures. So all these tips will be very helpful to boost your confidence. Well, at the same time, you feel comfortable to use the language. So try it out, okay? Good luck! KPM